While Hogan's ascent to the top spot in the state could mean a big change as to how things get done in Maryland or don't get done with a Republican governor and Democratic majorities in the state legislature. 11 News reporter David Collins continues our team coverage tonight from the State House. David. Well, Donna, the balance of power is tipping ever so slightly. Republicans gained uh, seven additional seats here in the House and two more in the Senate. Republican Larry Hogan riding a huge wave of voter approval of his economic message into the governor's office. And in his wake, the political landscape at the state house is about to dramatically change. Despite partisan redistricting designed to cut GOP numbers, the House gained an additional seven Republican seats and two more in the Senate. We now have broken the supermajority in the House. A lot of the things that go on in the House require a supermajority, and now we can block that, and we can promote Larry Hogan's agenda. Republicans will have more power to make or block procedural moves. It does not mean they have the clout to override vetoes or can muster 85 GOP votes to stop legislation. Political analysts believe the higher Republican numbers will help Hogan's efforts to reorganize state government, successfully push through big cuts in spending, and scale back capital projects. We won't have any trouble helping Larry Hogan change Maryland. Out of all the jurisdictions in the state, Baltimore City could be impacted the most. Mayor Stephanie Rollins Blake plans to reach out to the governor elect. But at this point, she really doesn't know how the new governor will respond to Baltimore's legislative priorities. I'm hopeful uh, that we will be able to work together to move uh, the city forward. I think that the city is, is crucial and vital as a part of the state. And, um, you know, my, my hope is that we'll, we will have uh, some shared priorities that we can work on. Hogan pledges to create a bipartisan administration. Leaders of Maryland's congressional delegation welcome a team player. We will work with them in terms of federal partnership. If they want to work together, I'm going to work together. The great thing about our democratic system, elections give us new faces, new ideas, and, uh, new ways to moving forward. Today, Hogan reached out to Speaker Bush and Senate President Mike Miller. He says they both pledged to work with him in a bipartisan way. Reporting live from Annapolis, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News.